Yo, what is up, guys? I'm here with a client that just graduated, Tommy. Here he is. What's going on, guys? <laughs> What's going on, guys? He just graduated last week, and he's coming on here to share his experience with the program and with uh, coaching and see what life is like now. So let's begin. Tommy, give a little short introduction of like where you're from, how old you are, and all that good stuff. Okay. So my name is Tommy and I am 30 years old and I live in Miami, Florida. I've lived here my whole life. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been a stutter my whole life since day one. It wasn't something that started as an adult or in my childhood. It started from the moment I learned to speak as I was told by my parents. Um, and I've dealt with all the emotions that come along with it. And uh, I found Chase online and I took his course and I'm here to review it. So yeah, it's been awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. So when you first started about, when you first started thinking about overcoming your stutter, why was it so important for you to dedicate energy into doing that the energy i put forward in this self-help project was not about learning how to speak fluently it was about learning how to live with a stutter um for my whole life i was like worried about my adulthood even when i was 10 i thought you can't live as an adult with a stutter it just doesn't work and my 20s i mean i was living you know i was wrong there i was living completely fine just in my own head and uh i spent a lot of time online looking at other people who started hearing stories and it it uh what it comes down to is just being able to live with it and being comfortable with yourself and accepting it. And that's what this course is all about. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What was your biggest frustration um, before this program with your speech? Um, my biggest frustration, I mean, by far just being put on the spot with irreplaceable words. Every stutter knows if you can't get a word out, you're going to do everything in your power to replace that word or avoid that word. And it comes on the spur of the moment. There's no planning these things. This is not like you're thinking about that word you have to say tomorrow. It's about somebody just asked you something and it's not coming out and you are in, in the moment trying to handle this. Um, so for me, it was my name. It is my name. That's the hardest word for me to say. It's crazy. It's crazy to admit it. I couldn't even fathom saying that out loud that it's hard for me to say my name. I couldn't, it, but it still is. But the more time goes on since this course started, the less I care. So, yeah. And when you care less, the byproduct is you stutter less. 100% man 100 that's the whole point of the course that's the whole point what was your main concern about joining this program when you were thinking about it and you were debating if you should or not or reach out to me what was that main concern my main concern was is it going to be worth it you know not just the money is it worth my time is it worth my effort is it going to work and uh, any self-help is priceless. I mean, you shouldn't go into debt, but self-help is priceless. Um, Chase was worth it. And yeah, it's worth it for me. Uh, I wasn't sure about going into it, but now I'm sure. What was the main thing that attracted you to this program that um, really was the magnet that made you want to join with me? I heard in Chase's videos what he was saying on his Instagram and in his YouTube. And, and I, I, there's nobody I could relate with more. I've seen these 
corporate courses and these seminars and places you go. But really, I, I knew for me, it wasn't about any location. It, it was just about like attitude. And that's what I saw with Chase, with you. A lot that of attitude. I, I, I could relate with you more than anybody I'd seen online. Now, Tommy, what are the main benefits that you've noticed in your life since joining, since joining this program? Totally more confident. I'm probably more approachable. I don't care when people respond to me getting stuck on words. That's the biggest thing. I feel like I've taken a, a big step in the right direction for my speech disfluency. Like I've, I've stepped out of my own mind and I, I always need, I always knew I needed to do something that wasn't a speech fluency course that that was a living with a stutter course. And I'm more confident because of it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I always say like, I am not a speech coach as, as you probably, as you mm -hmm. definitely know, there's the, I don't think there was probably one time I gave you any advice on speech. No, never did we try to speak fluent one time, not a single time. Yeah. And it's ridiculous if we were trying to do that because we already know how to speak. That's not the problem. That is absolutely not the problem. Yeah. It, what separates you when you're by yourself and you can say your name and you can introduce yourself to the mirror without a, without a glimpse of fear or anxiety and it comes out so smoothly and naturally. But when you stifle up and when you get all that anxiety and embarrassment and shame, when you feel that introduction coming, like what makes that, it's not the speech, it's something internal. And that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the shit we focus yeah. on. It's really not about like saying anything. It's about how you feel leading up to what you have to say or after. 100%. So what is your, your life like now since graduating this program? I'm still the same person, just with less on my mind, just that much more confident, that much more approachable, that much more willing to approach totally changed in the sense of self-consciousness. If you were to speak to yourself prior to joining this program, when you were, cause I, I know it took you a few months after seeing me to actually shoot me a message. If you were to talk to yourself in those few months where you're debating it, what, what, what type of things would you say to yourself? I would say, stop overthinking it. What you're looking for, is there something is better than nothing. I would say to myself, even if this course isn't going to work, how could it hurt you? You know, uh, one step is better than no steps. And you have no idea how far this could take you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's dope. That's dope. And just for reference, even though you guys cannot see what Tommy was like on our consultation call and stuff, his energy has completely changed. His just the way he shows up to these calls and like the life in his eyes and the inspiration that, that he's able to share now is tenfold. It's amazing. So I just want to thank you again, Tommy, for having the balls to get on this call, but having the balls to hop on this program where you knew you were going to leave your comfort zone so much, probably more than you ever have in your life and continue to do it. And even on days where it felt like you failed or you, you didn't take all the actions, you never gave up and you kept going. And that's all it takes is continual action and just keep on going. So, man, you killed it, and thanks for hopping on this call. You're welcome, and 
to everybody else out there, uh, it's totally worth it to take any step in a self-help direction. And for all the stutters, it's not about fluency. It's about the freedom involved in accepting yourself no matter what. So, yeah. Boom. Boom. <laughs>